Croydon's existed for thousands of years. Originally it's the home of the Tugalucka people, stretching up almost towards Normanton. And uh, by the early 1880s it was home to some vast cattle stations. And in 1885 the Aldridge brothers found gold on their boss's station and overnight we went from Croydon Downs, the cattle station, to Croydon, the booming gold rush town. The population exploded. So within a few months, you went from dozens of people into hundreds and then thousands as they all flocked here in search of gold. The cattle stations here, racing becomes a way of life. It's the way they work. The job never really finishes. They're always working with horses. And once you had the gold rush boom, you found wealth in the area means you can indulge in luxuries. One of those being having race meetings. If you're a small town out here and you have a race course, you've really made it. So all the satellite towns around Croydon, Tabletop, Golden Gate, stretching as far out to the Gilbert River, which is actually in a different shire all the way to the east, had their own race courses. And any occasion, they'd make an excuse to have a race meeting. Well, the problem with gold is it's a very fickle mineral. Gold rush, rushes just do not last forever. And so just before the First World War, Croydon was on the downward slide. They didn't really survive losing so many men in that conflict. Their mines filled up with water and essentially the economy of the area returns to cattle stations. But racing remains a constant even with lower populations and we see right through into the 40s, 50s and 60s the Croydon hack races being key social occasions. They had grass-fed horses, their local horses, ordinary working horses and working stockmen as jockeys and you essentially take the horses you work with every day and pit them against each other. So racing is, all, you know, all our family is for years and years, you know. We all raced horses here all the time, you know, and even in the early days when they'd just come in and have sprints up there, we'd bring all our horses into town and they'd auction them off and everybody would buy a horse and they'd go and start them and you'd have a great day, you know, so we all had horses and enjoyed horses, so. Well, racing's always been a huge part of Croydon's history, from cattle stations to gold and then back to cattle again, so having Pretty much the key racing artifact in all of Australia, the Melbourne Cup here in Croydon, has been fantastic and it's been a really meaningful experience for, for everyone here.